one of the uh, most enjoyable things about living in the south is uh, y'all have uh, heard of the southern magnolia there's a southern magnolia right there and I know people other than us in the south have them but this right here is a gardenia flower and uh, you know these are some spent ones but the ones that aren't are truly beautiful they are beautiful and you cannot appreciate what I'm enjoying right now is the most fragrant unbelievable sweet vanilla sweet smell it's so good and what we do is uh go ahead and clip some off I'm gonna put it and put them in a bucket I'm gonna clip them off and uh I'm gonna put about I don't know this is just one tree and I can clip probably about two three hundred of them right here and not even notice that they are clipped kind of hard to film and, and do this all at the same time but uh I'm just trying to cherry pick uh ones that are just super pretty and fragrant it might last for more than a, a day or so but uh They they here today and pretty much going tomorrow for well, they they actually last a little while. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, that really ought to be enough. I got them in the bucket. I'm gonna bring them on in the house and I'm gonna put them in some water and boy they will make your house smell wonderful. Yeah, really a, a treat. Now, I was hoping to come and get a magnolia flower and do the same thing because as much as a gardenia smells wonderful, a magnolia, that flower right there would be great, but I really would be trying my, the, the, the limits of my calisthenics and acrobatics to get up there and do anything with that. And I just ain't that, I ain't that, Keen on going up there. This one would have been nice, but it's a little past its prime. This one opened up and finished, but this one hasn't even opened up yet. And uh, there's a lot of them on here that haven't opened. See, that one hasn't opened. This one has. This, that's the one I showed in a video a while back. I don't know if I put it on YouTube. Well, look at that. I'm going over here to look at. I just noticed that the magnolia. They're quite pleasing to look at. And these flowers are incredibly aromatic. The magnolia flower. Oh, God. It's like vanilla and lemon. More like lemon. Oh, my God. The smell of that is intoxicating. There's another one up there. But here we go. Uh, bud. There's going to be a whole bunch of them soon. Whole bunch of them. And uh, I had a picture of a gardenia, first one I saw of the year. So, here we go. It's about to get real pleasant smelling around here. <laughs> and there's another one. Open. That one open. Uh, that one open. But, uh, that one open. Uh, ain't too many little ones that haven't. A few of them y'all saw earlier. They still... 
They last for a little while. These have all opened. They can go to see. Uh, huh. Let's go check another tree. I got a few. Oh, there's another one right there. Let's go see what's on that one. Nothing. All right, I'm going to go check another tree more internal into the property. There's a flower right there, but it's up high and it looks old. See it? But these gardenia, these are going to be... What is that on my belly? What are you? Get, I don't know. Yeah, okay. But, uh... Yeah, I'm going to go put this in the house have it smelling good for when my wife gets home have a little little gift for her uh well pleasant natural gift from the property everybody she loves that and i do too all right all right there they are let me tell you it's already starting to smell very pleasant very relaxing with that smell and fragrance of those gardenia flowers man that's nice that's really nice what a what a great southern summertime smell to come home to. They're all pleasantries in the south in the summer. Besides our oppressive heat, we do have things that really add to the charm of the lifestyle that we live over here. The, the things that you, you sit on the front porch in the afternoon and you can smell them gardenias in the air. It's just so overpowering just outside right now. That's all you smell. And it's just wonderful to be walking outside, even though you're sweating and it's hot and sticky. It's just, God always puts something there to make everything just good. Just good. Just great. And there y'all go.